Hi guys, this is Sajak from Webdom.com and in this video, we'll give you a new Keybox XML file which will allow you to pass the strong integrity test on your rooted phone. So do note that for most of the banking and payment app, you only need to pass the basic and the device test and for that there is no need for the Keybox file. The Keybox file is only required to pass the strong test and there are rarely a few apps which require the strong test. If your phone does not require then please do not use this file because this file is very difficult to find and the more it gets visible in the eyes of the Google, the higher is the chance of it getting revoked. So please don't misuse the file. With that said, as of now I have shared the 5 files till now, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and all of them have got revoked. So the 5th file as soon as I made a video on that, the 5th file and then I started sharing with you. It got revoked within a couple of days. This was the fast, fastest for me as well. So that is why I have stopped sharing and then I went on a hunt and now I found a new file. And from now onwards, I will not share the link on the file with on this link. But I made a new guide. This is because this guide already has over 15 to 1600 requests and it's quite slow now. So I made a new page and now you have to drop a new request in this new page. This is the link I've given the link in the video description as well. So drop in your request with your email id and then I will mail you the file. I will mail you the file and I am not uploading the file on any third party sites because it will then easily be revoked because on the third party sites is easily visible across all the users. So the chances are very high of it getting revoked at the earliest. So to prevent that from happening, I will only share the file via email because it's a safer approach. Apart from that, do not know that I am the only one sharing the files and emailing this file individually to each one of you might take time. It might take up to a couple of hours or even days. So please bear that in mind. And apart from that, you could refer to both my guide, but this is the older guide. And from now onwards, the sixth file onwards, all the files will now be on this new post. And I will link this post in the video description as well. So with that said, you could still refer to the instruction for my old guide only. So in short, here is how you could pass the strong integrity test using the keybox XML file. So first and foremost, go to my this new guide and drop in the request in the comment section. And once you drop in the request, you will get an unrevoked keybox XML file within a few hours. Once you have got the file, let's move ahead with the next step. So if you are using a custom ROM, then you will have to root your phone as well. In case of SOC firmware, your phone will already be rooted via Magisk, you will obtain root already. But in case of custom ROM, you could obtain root via my guide. So this was a stock firmware and this was for the custom ROM. So obtain root via Magisk or any other medium of your choice, kernel SU and APAGE. And once you have obtained root, your first course of action is to enable Zydisk. Okay, for rooting via Magisk, please make sure that you obtain root via the canary build, the stable and the beta build will not work. So you could go to my guide and from here download the canary build. But please only use the official GitHub page. So if you go to my link and I have also given the official GitHub page only. Scroll down and go to the canary and get hold of the latest APK. Then patch and flash patch the boot or the init boot file. And then flash it via fastboot command to obtain root. Once you've got via the root via the magic canary. Let's now get started. So first of all you have to enable Zygis. So enable the toggle from here and it will ask you to do a restart. We will not do a restart now, we will do a restart at the end after flashing all the modules just to save some time. So once you have enabled the toggle next to Zygis, you will now have to flash the following modules. The Shamiko module, LS Pulse Framework, Play Integrity, Zygis Assistant and Tricky Store. The link for all of these modules are given here. So flash each of these modules like this. So go to modules, tap on install from storage, select the module zip file and then tap on OK, it will be flashed. So likewise flash all the modules, there is no need to restart the phone after flashing each of these modules only. We will do a restart at the end. So for now I have all the 5 modules as you could see. So first of all I enable Zygis, then I flash all the 5 modules. And now you have to install the root supported file manager app. For example, let's say you may use the solid file manager app or you may also use the Me Explorer app and get the job done. So in my case I am using the solid app. Let me uninstall it and I will show you from scratch how to use this app once again. Finally, you could also use the plain ticket API checker app. This is required to check the result as well. So whether your phone passes the strong test or not. So we'll be using this app. Once you've got hold of all these apps, let's now get started. 
so as of now i flash all the modules as i have shown you so once you flash the modules all these five modules and then install the file manager app and the plain integrity api checker once you install that as well you will have to do a restart so i just have to install this file manager app once just give me a second this is the app let's install it and it's now installed once that is done tap on open skip accept terms and condition give it the storage access allow access to file manage and that's it and now you'll have to do a restart you may do a restart from the magic skype itself so tap on this and select reboot and your phone will now reboot to the os once it's moved to the os make sure that it's showing as yes next to the disk and all the modules should now be enabled as well all the five modules now launch the solid file manager app then tap on the hamburger menu and select root you will get a magic prompt tap on grant and now go to the data adb and then go to the tricky store directory likewise enable the auto rotate from here or the display settings once that is done let's now enable auto rotate and as you could see we now have two tabs the first one is the data adb tricky store directory and the second one is the internal memory in the internal memory i have the key box xml file over here strong file so you just have to copy the file from here okay just give me a second the file will be somewhat here in my case this is the file so simply copy the file from here and paste the file here just make sure that the file name should be keybox.xml if it is something else then make sure to re rename it accordingly so let me do that and as you could see the renaming is now done and i now have the keybox xml file inside the tricky store folder so just do the transfer and once that is done your last course of action is to do a restart so now let me do that as well and this restart is again compulsory so go to magis and do a restart from here once the restart is complete you will now have to verify the result for that go online and then launch the plain integrity api checker app and tap on check but again i am repeating okay let's just wait so by default the new android 13 check will fail that is not a cause of concern because that is not yet implemented as of now you have to perform the legacy check and make sure that you are passing all the three tests you may read more about the android 13 check by tapping on the question mark and the official documentation is now live so it's yet to be enabled and for now until the may 2025 you may still use the older api integration and get the job done that's not a cause of any concern make sure you are passing all the three tests in the legacy check and we are passing the strong test as well but don't keep on performing this check every time because this check is performed on the google server so every time your phone passes this test google will check which file you are using and it will then revoke the file at the earliest so please always play a safe game and please do not share this file with anyone else so guys with that in mind i round off this video just to round off first off you have to obtain root which is quite obvious then enable zygisk and after enabling zygisk flash the following five modules you may get this module from my guide and after that you have to install a file manager app which supports root and the plain integrity api checker app then go to the data adb tricky store and place the undevo keybox xml file a file is already there so you will have to replace it tap on new and the file will be replaced once that is done restart your phone then go online and tap on check under the legacy check you should now pass all the three tests as you could see and now you may use the required payment and banking app of your choice apart from that if you still want to hide root then you may also use this feature so you go there inside the data adb tricky store and under the target.txt you may write the name of the app package name from which you want to hide the root and after that type in an exclamation mark as well for example let's add it and let's say it's com.app.name for the sake of reference it's the app package name of any app at the end hit an exclamation mark as well and then tap on the save icon it will now be saved and then the root is hidden from this app as well then you may also use the hma which is the hide my app or the hide my app list this is an open source app you may use that app to hide the root from various apps apart from hide my app you may also use the configure denial list but please do not enable enforce denial list because this will not work with the modules which we have flashed although you may use the configure denial list then you may also use the hide my app from github and the tweak which i have shared with you just now using the tricky store adb directory so carry out this tweaks and then you'll be able to pass all the tests and then use the required banking and payment app without any issue and again i'm repeating from now onwards i will link 
all the new guides and the new responses in this new guide i will share the files over here so please drop in the comments in the new guide and not the older one because there's high chances i might not be able to find the comments on the older guide because i already have over 1600 comments so please i am requesting you to drop in the comments on my new guide which i have linked in the video description so guys apart from that if you have any other queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching